friends, welcome to the Grade 7 Mathematics program. Today's lesson will be based on the chapter Numbers, Factors and Multiples. This is one of the first free set of videos that you'll have on this topic, Numbers, Factors and Multiples. In today's lesson, we will look at the part dealing with numbers. Numbers, I'm sure you have come across everywhere in your real life. Almost every day, wherever you go, you see numbers all around you. So let us have a look at some real life examples of numbers. I'm sure you use your mobile phone almost every day and you see numbers on your mobile phone. Similarly, when you're using the remote control, you find numbers. If you're using a calculator, you see numbers on your calculator. So now, for today, we are going to look at the different types of numbers which exist. So first, we are going to have a look at even numbers, then odd numbers, prime numbers, what is meant by composite numbers, square numbers, and finally, what is meant by triangular numbers. So let us start with even numbers. Even numbers are numbers which are exactly divisible by 2. That is, there will be no remainder when I'm going to divide the number by 2. Even numbers are numbers which usually end with 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8. So any number ending with these will be an even number. Or even a one-digit number being 2, 4, 6, 8 or 0 will be even numbers. Let us see some examples of even numbers. So 10, 22, 68, all these are even numbers because when I divide by 2, the remainder is 0. Or I can also say because they are ending with 0, 2, 8, for example, they will be even numbers. Let us take an example. Ring the even numbers from the list given below. So you have a list of numbers. We need to see which of these are even numbers. So let us start with the first one, 34. 34 ends with 4, so it is an even number. Now, 67 is not exactly divisible by 2. There will be a remainder of 1, so it is not an even number. However, 88 ends with 8 and is therefore an even number. Similarly, 100 ends with 0, so it is an even number. Now, 54 ends with 4, or we can say that 54 is exactly divisible by 2, so it is an even number. 103 and 145 are not even numbers because they are not exactly divisible by 2. 90 ends with 0 and is an even number. Similarly, 52 is an even number because it ends with 2. So, what we have learned is that even numbers are either exactly divisible by 2 or they end with 0, 2, 4, 6 and 8. We now move on to odd numbers. So odd numbers are numbers which are not exactly divisible by 2. That is, we leave a remainder of 1 when divided by 2. Usually odd numbers end with either 1, 3, 5, 7 or 9. So some examples of odd numbers are 3, 15, 27, 39, 61, and so on. I'm sure you can have other examples of, ev of odd numbers sorry, in your mind. So let us have a look at this example. Circle the correct odd numbers from the list given. So let us see. 123 ends with 3, so it is an odd number. However, 456 is exactly divisible by 2, so it cannot be an odd number. And if you recall, we just said earlier, if it is exactly divisible by 2, this means it is an even number. 789 
We leave a remainder of 1 when divided by 2, so this is an odd number. Similarly, 1009 ends with 9, meaning it is an odd number. Now, 561 ends with 1, so it is an odd number. 394 now is exactly divisible by 2, so this means it is an even number. 555 will leave a remainder of 1 when divided by 2, so this is an odd number. 20,357 ends with 7, so this means it is an odd number. So we have seen what is meant by odd numbers. Odd numbers either leave a remainder of 1 when divided by 2, or they end with 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. So we now move on to prime numbers. What is a prime number? A prime number is a number that is divisible by 1 and itself. In other words, it has only two distinct factors, that is, 1 and the number itself. Some examples are 13, 29, 37, and so on. So let us have a look at an example. Is 2 a prime number? So just think, 2 has only two factors, that is 1 and 2. So 2 is a prime number. In fact, 2 is the only even number which is prime. Usually, even numbers are not prime. But the only exception is 2, which is a prime number, though it is even. So, circle the prime numbers below. We are going to have a list of numbers, all ending with 9, and we need to check whether they are prime numbers. Remember, prime numbers have only two distinct factors, 1 and the number itself. So 19 is a prime number because it is divisible by 19 only. Similarly, 29 is a prime number because it is divisible by 1 and 29 only. Now, what about 39? 39 can be 3 times 13. So it has other factors apart from 1 and 39. So this means 39 is not a prime number. Similarly, 49 is not a prime number because 49 is also 7 times 7. Now, 59 is a prime number because it is divisible by 1 and itself. Now, what about 69? If you think, you can see that 69 is 23 times 3. So 69 is not a prime number. However, 79 is a prime number because it has only two distinct factors, that is 1 and 79. Now, what about 89? Is it a prime number? Try to think. So 89 has only two distinct factors, that is 1 and 89, and is therefore a prime number. And 99 is not a prime number, as it is divisible by 9. For example, 9 times 11 is 99. So we have seen what are prime numbers. Now, we are going to move to composite numbers. A composite number is a number that has more than two factors. Remember we said prime numbers have only two factors, whereas composite numbers will have more than two factors. So some examples are 16, which is 1 times 16, 2 times 8, 4 times 4. 44 is an example of a composite number. Again, we have different factors, 1 times 44, 2 times 22, and so on. So these are some examples of composite numbers. Do you think 0 and 1 are prime numbers? Try to think. 0 and 1 are neither prime numbers nor composite numbers. 0 and 1 are in fact called special numbers because they are neither prime nor composite. Now let us have a look at this example. Which of the following are composite numbers? 
Remember we said earlier, one is neither prime nor composite. However, six is a composite number because it has more than two factors. That is, we have one times six, two times three. Nine is also a composite number. However, 13 is a prime number because it has only two factors. 15 will be a composite number because it has more than two factors. And if you remember, 19 is a prime number. 28 will be a composite number because it has more than two factors. 1 times 28, for example, 2 times 14, 4 times 7. 31 is a prime number, but 51 will be a composite number. Similarly, 79 is a prime number, but 91 is a composite number having more than two factors. We now move on to square numbers. I'm sure you must have come across the term square number. What is a square number? When a whole number is multiplied by itself, the resulting answer is called a square number. For example, if I take 1 times 1, I get 1. And I can say that 1 is a square number. Similarly, if I take 3 times 3, the answer is 9. And 9 is a square number. Or if I take 8 times 8, I will obtain 64. And 64 is said to be a square number. So 1, 4, 9 and so on are said to be square numbers. Let us have a look at this diagram. In fact, square numbers can be arranged as a square array of dots. So if we look at this example, we can see that 1, you have only one dot. For 4, I can arrange it in the form of a square array. Similarly, 9 can be arranged in a square array of dots. This is just a visual representation of square numbers for you to see what is happening. So let us move to this example. Ring the square numbers from the list below. So we need to see which of the following numbers are square numbers. So do you think there is a number which multiplied by itself gives 45? No. So 45 is not a square number. Now, what about 121? Yes, 11 times 11 gives me 121. So 121 is a square number. Now, what about 64? 8 times 8 gives me 64. So 64 is a square number. However, there is no number which when multiplied by itself gives me 241. So 241 is not a square number. Now, what about 1? Remember earlier we said 1 times 1 gives us 1. So 1 is a square number. Similarly, 4 times 4 gives me 16. So 16 is a square number. What about 169? Try to think. Is there a number which when multiplied by itself gives me 169? Yes, 13 times 13 gives me 169. So 169 is a square number. Similarly, 20 times 20 gives me 400. So 400 is a square number. But there exists no number, no whole number, which when multiplied by itself gives me 2000. So 2000 is not a square number. Now try to think of this. Which one digit number, which one digit square number is even? Try to think of one square number which is at the same time a one digit number and even. I'm sure you must have thought of the correct answer that is 4. 4 is a one digit square number which is at the same time even. 
Now, let us have a look at this picture. Just look at the arrangement of the cans. Let us start at the top. So, you can see that there is here only one can. In the second row, you have two cans. In the third one, three cans. Fourth row, four cans. And the fifth row has five cans. I'm going to use this picture to explain what is meant by triangular numbers. So you can see the figures here, first row. Now I have included the first two rows in figure two, the first three rows in figure three, first four rows in figure four, and first five rows in figure five. Now we're going to count how many cans there are in each figure. So in figure one, we had only one can. In figure two, there were two rows, one can in the first row, two cans in the second row. So this means we have a total of three cans. Similarly, in figure three, if you still remember, there was one can in the first row, two cans in the second row, and three cans in the third row. So if I add, I get six. So you can see that the resulting answers are in fact what we call triangular numbers. So 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, and so on are called triangular numbers. Now, can you try to think of where triangular numbers are used in real life? I'm sure you must have thought of some good examples. So let us see. This is one example of where triangular numbers are used. You can see here, there is one ball, two balls in the second row, same as our initial figure of cans, three balls, and so on. A second example is when you're going to the market to buy oranges. I'm sure you must have seen such arrangements. So you can see that you have one orange, two oranges, three arrangers, and so on. And the resulting figure is going to give me a triangle. And these numbers are what we call the triangular numbers. So, let us see briefly what we have learned in today's lesson. We have looked at the different types of numbers. The first one was even numbers. If you recall, we said even numbers are exactly divisible by 2. That is, there will be no remainder. Some examples are 2, 34, 56, 78, and 100. We can also say that even numbers are numbers which end with either 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 8. Next, odd numbers. Odd numbers are numbers which will leave a remainder of 1 when divided by 2. Or we can say that we end with the digits 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. Some examples are given here. 31, 123, 455, and so on. The next type of number which we looked at today was prime numbers. So remember, prime numbers have only two possible factors, one and the number itself. Some examples are 17, 23, 37, and so on. The next one was composite numbers. Composite numbers are numbers which have more than two factors. Example, 14, 39, 45, 66, and so on. Then we had a look at square numbers. So a number which when multiplied by itself will result in a square number. Examples, 4, 36, 81, 169. And the last type of number which we had a look at today was triangular numbers. Triangular numbers are numbers which can be arranged in a triangular pattern. 
So this is an example of a triangular pattern with your cereals, which you can arrange in your cup of milk. So we're going to end with some practice exercises. So these are some questions which you can try to do at home, either by yourself or with the help of your friends, teachers, or even your parents, just to help you to work out these questions. We have reached the end of the first part of today's lesson. I shall see you in the next lesson, which will deal with factors and HCF. Goodbye for now.